Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today we are going to discuss about how to calculate the optical properties in Metal Studio using CastUp tool. And uh, so first step is what we need to take a lattice and we have to do the geometry optimization process. And once you have done the geometry optimization, then we can do this calculation for optical properties. <clears throat> there are two three ways of doing this calculation. First is Along with the geometry optimization, you can perform this calculation for optical properties. Or another way is you just first optimize your geometry, then do a single point calculation just for uh, this optical property. Okay. So both way you will be getting the same results. So first, what I have done is I have optimized this graphene lattice. This is just a two dimensional lattice of graphene nanoseed. I have already optimized this. Okay. If you have not seen uh, my optimization video, you can just check it out. In the description box I'll put it the link over there so after geometry optimization what you need to do is go to the cast step tool if you want to use cast step tool for that and in the since we have already uh, done this geometry optimization okay so what we are gonna do is either you can choose the properties or you can choose the energy I'll go with properties and in properties we don't want band structure we don't want density of state we don't want electron localization function. We want just the optical properties. Okay. So in optical properties, choose the uh, K point set. We'll go with the fine. And if you want to manually change the K point separation, like so you can change this from here in terms of separation, or if you want to change in terms of uh, ampere grid, you can change it from here. You can click on the custom grid and you can change it here. I'll be going with the separation that is 0.04 okay and once you have done this choose the processors and everything and calculate just run it will take quite some time maybe 10-15 uh, minutes or some time to just finish this calculations once you have submitted this job you can see this is starting over here and let me tell you one more interesting thing is sometimes what happens we are submitting a job in cast app okay and there will be some uh, you know failure in the job even though your everything is correct still you are getting the convergence failure or failure in the calculation some error is coming sometime what happens see whatever job you are submitting in this cast up table in the metal studio uh, this software will be creating a you know local server in your system okay sometime what happens uh, because of you know connectivity sometime the connectivity between the server and your system uh, you know there is a problem sometime in those cases what will happen the file will be it's kept like still be there on the server so in those cases you need to delete remove the files from the server because sometimes if those files are there that will create some problem during the calculation and you may get some error or uh, some failure in the calculation okay so see this calculation is over first we'll click ok and before this i was telling you about that error right so we'll finish that then we'll go to this optical properties Go to the tool menu and here you can see this server console. In this server console, you can see these are the successfully completed jobs. Okay. See here you can see two only, but here you can see three. Why? Because see, once you have submitted, like job is successfully done from here and go to the action and remove the completed job. Once you have done this, see, this is going from here, right? So these files, if it is there, like lots of files are there, so that will create some time, you know, problem. So you have to manually sometime, this see, here no files is there, but still there is one file, which output is still there on the server of the system. So you have to manually remove this, okay. Okay, now come to the optical properties. So we have calculated the optical properties of the system, fine. Now, this is the output file. Now go to this analysis window of this uh, Metal, uh, cast up tool and there we'll select optical properties okay fine in optical properties you have calculation uh, polarized unpolarized and polycrystalline we'll be going with the polarized okay and this is the polarization so in polarization you'll be having different different you know planes so this is along 100 plane similarly you can take 0 0 1 plane you just change the value from here okay so suppose you want that uh, polarization in a specific plane you can just change it from here 
okay uh, here you, you have the various functions okay uh, suppose i'll go with the first reflectivity in terms of ev i'll calculate it once it is calculated i will click on the view so that i can see this okay so in this case you can see this uh, y axis is reflectivity and the x axis you are having the frequency okay and this is the and other things you can see this is the direction of your uh, polarization similarly you can click on the absorption you can get the absorption this is the absorption spectra similarly you can get the reflective index this is the reflective index and dielectric function okay similarly you can do this conductivity conductivity with versus frequency okay similarly you can do with the loss function okay so these are the various um, calculations you can perform using this tool right <coughs> And other than this, so this was uh, for 100 plane. Similarly, you can do the uh, all of these calculations for different planes. Just need to change the value from here. Suppose you all of these, whatever I have done, it was for the 100 plane. Suppose you want to perform for uh, 0, 0, 1 plane. So what you need to do is change this polarization axis here, that plane here. And now whatever thing you want to perform you can go ahead suppose you want to uh, perform the dielectric function just select the dielectric function and calculate it uh, view so this is along 0 0 1 plane okay and this is the dielectric function okay so in this way you can do the optical properties calculation using metal studio software thank you if you have any doubt put in the comment section thank you